Hi Sagittarius, and this is your love forecast with me for December 2015. And I do apologize for uploading this very late now. And I actually forgot <laughs> that December is um, Sagittarius birthday month. So happy birthday to all Sagittarius out there. I was supposed to upload this this early morning, but um, I don't know if I have mentioned this. To everyone but whenever I do my readings whenever I tune in with the cards and pick the cards myself um, there are instances where in you know there are sudden feelings that and experiences that I tend to get and usually I believe that it it has a role it plays a big message it plays a big message um, to the reading for either that client or for for that zodiac sign that I'm working on and I just can't believe that after I pick up the cards and I was tuning in to what messages I, I'm getting my whole body was really aching so much and you know I actually feel feel like I was about to collapse I got so dizzy something like that and I just had to stop and and you know stop tuning in earlier and I had to give myself a rest and there were times throughout the day that I felt like vomiting I don't know something in my body just keeps on aching and you know I just got this energy to do this right now and it's already almost midnight on my time um so um i was actually thinking if i should still continue doing this readings because um maybe i am becoming putting too much energy and focus to the readings you know even though it's just a general reading that i tend to get all these kinds of experiences i'm not sure if I'm just becoming too sensitive to it. So, but you know, I really, really want to do all the readings for this December at the very least. And, you know, I'm always happy and very glad um, whenever someone tells me that the readings are being very helpful for them. And I do hope that this December, this will be very helpful for a lot of Sagittarius out there as well. Now, due to the aching of my body, um, I can feel that a lot of Sagittarius are, are working too much. You know, it could be that they have been very patient in the situation that they are in. Something in their relationship has been long standing. And, you know, they have worked hard in this relationship. Or at the very least, you know, they have focus too much in the situation too much in the relationship that they are not really taking care of themselves anymore it's like you know you deserve a rest you have been putting too much energy there and you have been very frustrated about it and it gives me that kind of feeling that you know you have been thinking about this relationship you have been evaluating about it you are you are giving a wait and see kind of attitude but all at the same time there's a sense of feeling really being exhausted as well so so it's like you know your emotions your feelings are pouring out and it's like that kind of a thought that do you still have more love to give towards this person or towards this situation? Because it gives me that idea that you have given everything in the situation and still not really moving in the way that you wanted them to. Or it's not really progressing, you know, it's still being stagnant, that kind of a situation. So we kind of feel that um, it could be that a lot of Sagittarius may be on the verge of wanting to retreat from a situation, maybe wanting to retreat from a relationship. 
you know they they're not willing to fight for the relationship anymore there is hesitancy in putting putting things forward in the relationship and you know this is because you're not seeing the progress because usually we are more driven when you know we are working for it's like when we are working for a project we always want to see results little by little is okay as long as we see results but in your case it's more like you're not seeing any results at all it's like you're always back to zero and this is making you really double thinking if you should still continue on this path because of what's going on so it shows here that in the recent past i kind of feel that you're trying to change something or at the very least you tried to change something that you cannot change anymore it's like there was a new beginning that happened recently in your life but it could be that you you're wanting to shift things you wanted to shift what happened you wanted to change what happened but you know you are really at the time of your life wherein you need to accept that hey this already happened there's nothing you can do about it you know so whatever you're doing in the recent past i kind of feel that this is this is not putting you at the right path you're supposed to be in because it's like it's like you are resisting change in a way or two or at the very least that is more or less the idea that you are showing off or the energy that you're giving that kind of a sense and so the challenge for you is to be the Sagittarius that you are because I kind of feel that a lot of Sagittarius may not be like themselves because from the way I'm seeing it's like Sagittarius are usually a positive person um, or at the very least that's what I know I mean they're always you know the center of attraction the life of the party they are usually positive you know and happy-go-lucky kind of a sign and I really don't think that the Sagittarius I'm picking up are in this zone at the very least I kind of feel that they have a really scattered energy so you know the challenge for Sagittarius is really more on being selfish once again loving themselves and putting themselves first before anyone else and also putting focus on what you truly want because I kind of feel that for Sagittarius there will be instances wherein you thought you wanted this to happen but you really do not so I kind of feel that you there is something that is really confusing in your wants and desires and this may be due to the fact of your relationship problem if you do have one it's like you know you're feeling very empty there's so much sadness going on in your relationship that you know you are going to want to cling to to anything that will make you sane and you know what will make you sane at this moment doesn't mean that it will be something that you need or something that you truly want in your life for the long haul or it could be that you know it could be that it could be just a relationship problem that you are dealing with that you are somehow having a difficulty to to dealing at the present moment and you know you might risk the relationship that you really have right now towards something that you are just fancying you know if you are with a real a long-term relationship and you have a falling out with this person and then for some reason you are um i guess someone is trying to flirt with you or at least get your attention you know that kind of energy is very new for you and you might want to you know connect more with that person but again 
because of what the other person is giving you, the type of energy and warmness that they have, you might think and tell yourself, maybe this is the relationship that I want. Not not really, you know, thinking that you're risk you're risking a long-term relationship that you have put a lot of work in wherein you know that there is real love and real relationship those kinds of things so there's a need to really be careful and re you really really need to focus on what is really important i kind of feel that even though that that is how sagittarius really are i kind of feel that this month they will have that kind of struggle to be very uplifting so their challenge is to really be um be the usual sagittarius that they are so it really depends on what type of sagittarius you are but it's really in a in a very basic way i would say that you need to be more positive and you know not giving up kind of attitude because i kind of feel that in a way the sagittarius that i'm picking up is more or less acting as if they are a water sign or more or less acting as if they are a gemini <laughs> or an air sign so you know it's not really a sagittarius kind of thing to think way too much or be indecisive or you know feel different kinds of things you know i kind of i really really believe though i'm not really an astrologer that sagittarius are really more straightforward they know what they want or at the very least even if they didn't know what they want you know if they think they want something they are going to push forward and do something about it that's just who they are or at the very least that's what i know <laughs> So in a way, I kind of feel that in the near future, again, there will be different kinds of energies that will surround a lot of Sagittarius. So you really wouldn't know what you want. Or at the very least, there's a lot of things that's going on in your mind that, you know, things will confuse you it's not really the right state of mind of making decisions and in a way i kind of feel that you know the reading for sagittarius is has a bit of similarity to the reading of aries so you know if you want more details on it you can definitely watch the aries video as well but i just kind of feel that Sagittarius really needs to be careful of suddenly being impulsive with, the, with what they're doing. They need to calm down. And, you know, for me, it's really important for them to, to rest first. And by rest, I would say time alone for them to, you know, to get their energy back to be okay again to heal their own wounds and not mingle with another person to heal them if that makes sense so again it's really more about thinking first before acting but the thing here is that sagittarius might just think way too much that they would just confuse themselves so you really need to be you know careful in that So, so yeah, it shows here really more about you being very impulsive. So, I would say that, um, you know, try to calm down. And, I don't know, it just makes me feel that you also need to be careful. If you are the type of Sagittarius who is not putting effort in the relationship. I kind of feel that, you know, instead of you focusing your time with different people, I, I feel that this is the month for and you really, really, really need 
to put focus on that special person that truly matters to you because it makes me feel that this is your end of the line you know it's like this is your last time to fix the relationship because it is on the verge of falling apart and all at the same time if you are someone who has work so much in the relationship and put a lot of effort in this this is for me this is really more of a signal that you really really sh- should stop it because you know what you have been doing is not helping you the change that you have been trying to change is not changing at all which means that there's something in the way how you're handling it seems to be very wrong and It could also possibly be that it's just not the right time to make actions or at the very least, you know, you are jumping to too much conclusions ahead of time. You're not really putting too much thought in your actions. You are purely acting on instincts. But sometimes, you know, I guess I would say that some Sagittarius just gets excited way too much that They think to, I guess, they tend to act first before they think. So, you know, there's a need to be careful in that. So again, what you need to know is really to put focus. Put focus back on what really matters. I know that there could be a lot of distractions during the month of December. And there could be a lot that is worrying you. There's a lot of doubts and a lot of confusion. Could be that there are choices going to be presented towards you. But let's go back to what is important. This is the time wherein you really, really need to put focus on what is truly, truly important for you. And what matters in your heart, in your mind, and in your soul. You know, so you might need to think. Is your freedom much more important now or the other person? Or are you willing to leave the other person? Are you willing to live your life without this person? You know, you need to really put questions in yourself on what you truly want in your life. Because for me, one of the message here is the same with Aries, you know. Be careful on what you're doing. It's like, you know, make sure that what you are risking for is really worth risking for. Because you might truly lose someone very important to you just because you want to play around or just because you're becoming impulsive. So again, this really depends It really depends on what type of Sagittarius you are, but I just kind of feel that there are Sagittarius that can really change things very immediately, very fast in December. I mean, it's all good if it works for you, but, you know, if it's not going to work, I really, really would encourage you to at least put a pause in your impulses that kind of a thing and again i would say that me being very tired earlier would tell would say a lot about how you need to be really really careful make sure that you know you're also taking care of yourself if you have been working too much and you're still wanting to work on the situation you know um It's really more of that kind of a thought wherein you cannot work your best. You cannot do your best if you yourself is damaged or sickly, that kind of a thing. I actually forgot to get get cards for um, Lenormand for Sagittarius. I don't know why, just because I was so tired earlier. But I'm going to be getting some cards now. Sorry about that. (laughs) And I'll get back to you in a few while. So, yes, I'm back. And 
what I'm getting here with the Lenormand is really more of a confirmation to, to the reading that we had earlier. And usually, this is what my Lenormand does. It's either that they give me more information or they tend to confirm things in a very shortcut kind of a manner and how my usual readings are with the tarot and with Sagittarius this is really more of a confirmation that some Sagittarius might find themselves very lonely during the month of December it could be that they are in a relationship but it's not really that fulfilling it's not really that happy it's not really that exciting that they want things to be, especially for those men who has extra, extra cash to spare and are in a very unhappy relationship. It could also be that, you know, a woman who has a lot of male energy, but for now, I'm saying that it's men, but it's really, it could really be different. For a lot of people but it's like they are feeling lonely they're very unhappy but you know they might engage themselves to social gatherings could be reunions especially that december there's going to be a lot of parties a lot of going out with friends seeing a lot of people meeting a lot of people so they might engage themselves in you know those kinds of connections and which may or may not lead to something romantic in a sense but i kind of feel that you know uh, this is really more an Im impulsive side to sagittarius men it makes me feel that you know that kind of a meeting that kind of a gathering might just turn into something you know more than just meeting someone it could be leading to flirting or making out those kinds of things but if you are already in a relationship no matter what you do seeing an opposite sex as a potential partner is always in its form of cheating as well so just be careful of that and I do believe that there are chances to have some sexual encounters as well just because of you being lonely those kinds of things so again if you're just you know I hope you guys can you know get back on the reading and re-listen re to this video as the time goes by because I kind of feel that it for some Sagittarius, it may not make sense now, but sooner or later, when you revisit the video, it will sort of make sense as that is something that I've noticed to my other videos. Like, um, it's already December, but I would get a lot of messages coming from um, October, November, just to tell me and to confirm things that had happened and towards them and in their situation so if you're now getting this as a warning you can at least try to hold back yourself and stop yourself you know and it's also a good way to really evaluate what you truly want so if you are truly ready to lead a person then i would say this is your chance in meeting someone else that will you know make you feel happy now i can't tell you if it's going to be la lasting a lasting relationship but it could be that you meet someone that would be that has a good chemistry towards you so if you're a single sagittarius this is also could be a very very good sign that december is telling us that this month is not going to be so lonely for you um, I kind of feel that there are chances of you meeting someone special. As long as, you know, you go out there and um, not stay and lock yourself at home. It could be that a friend will 
will ask you out or it could be that um you'll just be meeting people that you know and they will ask you to meet someone else that kind of a setup is quite possible as well so yeah i do hope that this reading has been helpful for you sagittarius and i do apologize for the delay and if you find my reading and my words quite a bit messed up I, i'm i'm really sorry about that as um i'm not really feeling that well and there's just a lot of messages and there are just times when i feel overwhelmed that even i myself wouldn't know what i'm what the heck i'm saying on this reading but i do how i i try to explain this in a way that i can the way i find it at least understandable even a little so um, i do hope that this would be very helpful for everyone and if you do want a personal reading one that is more detailed towards your situation um, please do contact me all the details and information will be at the inform at the details below this video it may just take a bit of time as i do have a lot of clients on the line each time but also if you do order a reading with me on December 24th please do know that I will not be available and I'm not sure if I can respond as well so please do not you know panic if you see me not responding at all it's either that I'm just flooded with email or I'm not available as I'm out of the country during that time and I will be back on January too and yeah and I'll see you next year thank you